hello 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 everyone welcome back to my channel it is me it is i it is she it is her it is who it is the it is who it is me it is rosie rosette 2020 pow how are you guys doing uh i'm not doing fine oh no 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 i am sick i don't know if you can hear it in my voice but i am sick i'm kind of stuffy and i'm you know i'm gonna be kind of gross during the during this video but it is what it is. Markayla and Buzzworthy TV. What is going on with our girl? What is going on with the big sister? She could be your auntie, but she's my big sis. Like, girl, let, let me get my fan for this. Oh, honey. I, I just don't understand. Now her show has been pushed back to October 18th. <coughs> So now we stuck with Nick Cannon. Ooh, ooh, that brother can hang a suit. Lord Jesus. But I mean, like Wendy, okay. Maybe she just doesn't want it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe sis just doesn't want it anymore. And that's fine. If you don't want it, then go. Take your raggedy ass and go. But if you do want it, okay, and you do care about yourself because you're number one okay <clears throat> you're number one right i mean you know whether you're on or not we're still going to live our lives we might be a little sad you know when 10 o'clock comes on and we turn the tv and you know there's some lame other show you know we might be like dang you know we really miss wendy but we'll get on we'll be okay you on the other hand have a what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you can't get Joe rag the ass up and get the car to take you to your show? Not our show, your show. This that you wanted so much and you're at the top of your game. This is the end and this is how you want to roll out. This is what I don't understand. How is it that you work for all of this? How is it? How is it? How is it that you work for this for 20 years and then shit happens? I'm not talking about your mother. Okay. I'm not talking about your mother. I'm talking about shit happens. Because shit happens all the time. Shit happens all of the, uh, every day to me. Hell, I'm sick with the flu. But you see me still doing this. I don't even get paid. Now, if I did get paid, now it would still be the same. I wouldn't be drunk. I don't, I just don't get it. I don't, you know, here I go again, Randy. I just don't understand how you're going to throw all this shit away for some drugs or liquor because of, if, I don't want to say it, but I guess I can't relate because I don't do drugs. I don't drink that much. I drink like twice a year. And I said the other day that I, <clears throat> I didn't drink for my birthday. I lied because I was in Vegas for my birthday on June 25th and I did drink. Actually, I tell you exactly where I drank. I was at Ocean One in Vegas um, at the Miracle Mile. You know, you know I'm cheap, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. On my birthday, Ocean's One Miracle Mile. Mm-hmm. I had lunch for um for five dollars, and then I had drinks. There, I had three drinks margarita i think they had the mango with the strawberry it was three cups for three for three dollars each that's exactly what then i went from the you know from the um <clears throat> timeshare things that i go to um i had a free meal at the venetian right i had a free meal at the venetian and that was after i went to the um madame muselle's wax museum or something that is really fun that was the first time I went. That was really fun. Um, I had a really good time. And then I walked my butt up to the resort resorts hotel because it opened up. You guys know the video. Whatever. So yes, I did drink on my birthday, okay? I usually drink twice a year. But if I don't go over to my uncle's house, I don't usually drink. If I don't go to nobody's house, I'm not drinking. Or if I don't go out, I'm not drinking. Okay. I don't I don't even though I think I have bottles of wine and liquor. But I, I don't drink, so I don't really drink. The, you know what I'm saying? But boy, when people come over, honey, they will drink you dry. I'm like, okay. 
I guess I'm the same way with food, honey. If I go to somebody's house and some good food, I'm eating it all. I ain't leaving nothing out. You better put what you want, cause let me, especially sweet potato pies, baby. I would eat the entire pie and won't feel bad. That's my aunt, my aunt Veronica's fault. Back to it. I just I don't I don't know I don't I, I you know I've never had the pleasure of you know having my own show. I mean that you know I'm paid for. This is my show, so this is my pleasure, right? Cause that's why I do it for free. But you know if I was making ten million dollars a year. I, I just can't see myself getting high and getting drunk and being sloppy, pissy drunk, too. And just being on the stage like, oh, God, you know, here we go again. Well, listen, bitch, if you don't want it, there's about 10 million people, maybe about a million, maybe a hundred. Okay, maybe a thousand people who ain't got no problems sitting right in your chair. Now, will will there ever be a, another Wendy? No, no. Okay, but Jason Lee would love to get in your chair. That's a snake. That, he just, you know, he he's waiting to slide in your chair, but he he's he's not you. Okay. Tasha K is waiting to get in your chair. Um, Kelly, the one who can sing really well, but I just wish she would try and you know put on some makeup or a wig or something. She just. She goes on her show with no makeup and everything, no hair, just blah. But whatever, I guess that's how y'all get down. Whatever. Um, it's a plethora of people. Hell, I'd like to be, you know, in your seat or where there's at least a million people who would love to be the Wendy Williams, okay? Because of Wendy, you know, you got people, you got about 5,000, 10, 20, 30, 50,000 youtubers you know trying to be the next wendy there's tons of people who would want to be you but you gonna bring your raggedy old ass to the show and just be like just old sloppy joe then guess what you don't deserve it i tell people at my job you know what go home if you don't want to work i hate people who don't want to work but want that check no it don't work like that sis mm mm Yes, you are a legend in your own time, but bitch, you got to want it. You don't want it. You know why you don't want it? Because that damn, that big ass man of your ex don't want you. I, and you're, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. So because he has went on about his life, you want to fuck up yours. Which is fine if you want to fuck up your life because that's your life. And if you want to fuck it up, okay, fine. But you got people depending on you. Like at least give them a heads up. Guess what? I don't want it no more. I don't want the show no more. Go get another. Go start finding another job. Which they should have like a couple years ago. When you kept doing your hiatus. And you couldn't get it together. Then okay but fine. Obviously they're loyal to you. Or they're loyal to your job. Whatever. You got some loyal people. But you don't appreciate it. You, you got a son, a beautiful, handsome, intelligent, smart son. You don't appreciate him because if you did, you would not be doing this. Now, I heard that he gave you the ultimatum. Good. Because obviously, you know, so I guess since you don't have Kevin to put you, keep you in check, so you need a man to keep you in check, which is sad. But you know what? That's how you flow. That's You know, I, I can't get mad at you on you. I, that's that you know you do you I do me you can't get mad at me for me being me I'm not gonna get mad for being you but what I want what I'm saying is there's communication in 2020 well, I don't know why you bitches can't communicate tell these, tell your staff listen I don't want to do no more I'd rather stay at home and get high allegedly or you know, get high and get drunk. I want to fucking go into the, the studio every day and make a show. Listen, then don't do it. But what you are doing, you're having everybody in limbo wondering what the fuck, how you going to show up today? If you're going to show up today, bitch, if you don't want it, then just let it go. But you're putting everybody through all this unnecessary thing. Listen, right the go, just go. Get somebody in there that really wants it who can hold their liquor and who can do their hobbies in a manner 
that's appropriate. We, I, uh, tell me who ain't high on these shows. Tell me who don't have a little something, something. Okay? I, I, it ain't nothing wrong with that. But when you come into work being sloppy drunk and you can barely hold it, nor you can barely hold it together sitting in the chair, no, you can't, your ass can't even stand up no more. No, girl, I don't feel sorry for you. Hell no, I don't feel sorry for you. Shit, I'm, I'm pissed off at you because you, you raggedy. Girl, you rag. I can't, I don't give a fuck. You know how much money you got to make your ass is ragged. I can't stand the raggedy bitches. I can't. Or you know what? The bitches that just give up. Just give up. Now, even if I came over here on here with no wig or no makeup, okay, looking half dead. You know what I'm saying? At least I didn't give up. At least I'm trying to give you guys something, right? Now, I, 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 I this, this girl got a makeup artist, you know, got a camera artist, got a, you know, a, a stylist. She got all this. Got a paycheck coming. They holding the show for her. I wish I would. Honey, <laughs> yo, mm -mm, you'd have been gone. So, they took the real off. The real one somewhere. I don't know where they went. And then they're waiting for Wendy, <laughs> who can't even keep it together. I know they are pissed off, okay? Lonnie, um, Jeannie, what's she going to do? She having, you know, she having a baby. Where's the show? I don't know what the uh, Mexican girl, the Puerto Rican. They come to work, okay? They may be, you know, high and drunk, but at least they show up. <laughs> Wendy don't even want to show up. She... Looking like she half dead, in and out of rehab, girl, bye. I'm just sick of it. All because of a nigga. I just, mm, that's the bad part about it. Well, Kevin, can you please come back and, you know. No, they wrote him off. But see, when they wrote him off, did they realize what they were doing? Did they realize, and I think he must, I think he said this. If he didn't DJ Booth, if he didn't, maybe Charlemagne. But somebody said, y'all don't know the real story. Y'all really don't know what goes on. And I think, even though I guess it appeared or allegedly Kevin was off the chain, he had a reason to be. I understand why he had somebody on the side because Wendy has demons. Not that I don't, okay? I, hell, I might have more demons than she does. As a matter of fact, I know I got more demons. Different demons. Different demons, okay? Uh, I, I, shit. You look at this room. You can, that's one demon right there, okay? So, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm better. I'm not saying I'm worse. We're just different. But I think Kevin had to, you know, he had to fight with some of Wendy's demons. Or beat it out of her or something. I don't know, allegedly. Something was going on. So I think, okay, and I was thinking about this today, Buzz. I was thinking when Big Kev was with Serena, Wendy might have been. That was her. She was like, go ahead and go. You can go ahead and go to the little, you know, little ugly house. Because that's when maybe she was getting high and drunk. Boom. So that's why it was okay for Big Kev to go kick it with Serena. Then, because you remember she would always say, you know, for her weekend she doesn't do anything. I don't even think she likes to leave the house. Well, that's when maybe Kev was with Serena. Excuse me. Little Kev was probably, you know, with his activities, with his you know, with his friends or whatever. And Wendy and the, and the dog, you know, maybe that's what she was doing, little, her little hobbies. She, you know, her that was her hobby. Hobby time. Right? So maybe she didn't mind when Kevin was gone because that was her hobby time. Does that make sense? I was thinking about, I was like, okay. Okay. So, you know, allegedly, that might have been their arrangement. Okay, you do you. I'm going to do me. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, I mean, it was people were alleging that, you know, Wendy had her side and Kevin had his side. Okay. So what I'm thinking, allegedly, that Wendy's side was her hobby. Okay. 
see, she didn't mind when Kevin was gone because she get to, she got to do her hobbies. It, okay. So moving forward, some nosy ass motherfucker got into the business and explode exploited exposed Wendy's lifestyle or a portion of it or whatever. So then the shit hit the fan. So because the shit hit the fan and everybody found out, which who cares? Okay, Wendy, you know, Wendy's life is whatever. A little unconventional. But the fact that she always talking so much, man, and even during all this, she was still talking about the people. You know, she was like, oh, she had to eat crow. Right? She had to eat crow. She didn't like that. Okay, go figure. Go figure. Now look at you. You ain't got no man. Ain't got no house. You about to not to have a show. And, oh, Lord, I just hope that she put some money away for little Kev. Because if, you know, something happened to her, then everything else will love Kevin. But, if she smokes it all away, then little Kevin, I don't, I just, I don't know. I mean, you know, these, these Negroes are a lot better off, well off than I am, honey. A lot better off than I am, okay? I wish she would make some videos about me but that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen she's a lot better off she's more popular than i am she has more money than i have and that's it's the buck stops there because other than that she and i'm not trying to compare but what i'm saying is this money don't mean everything in this case money don't mean shit because if Money takes me to that state where I can't even control my life, where I'm going to, you know, and I've screwed up some jobs, but I am going to screw up a major production on me, girl. Now, I am just, listen, I get stressed out. And, you know, when I got big projects or in school, whatever, I would procrastinate to the last damn second. But I didn't, you know, wasn't, I didn't have 100 people on my staff or 50 people, whatever. Maybe that maybe it's just too much for her. Maybe that's why she's looking for a man like a Kevin to take that load off of her body, off of her mental. You know what I'm saying? Off of her psyche. It's maybe it's just too much. And then with her mother leaving, that was her best friend. See again, Wendy doesn't like a lot of women. Okay, actually, she doesn't like a lot of people around. Period. She likes her and her man and her child. That's it. I'm kind of the same way. We're both cancers or whatever. I understand that. I see. I don't have a lot of people running in out of my house. Mm -mm. I I just like to come home to my bed, to my, you know, junky ass room with all my clothes, all my shoes, all my shit. I just like my TV and I'm good. You know, eat a little something, whatever. I'm good. I don't need to be in nobody's house. I don't need to be at the clubs. You know, the kids just ask me, so, you know, my rose, well, what do you do? I go home and I go to sleep. So I don't want, I don't want to know people's business or whatever. No, because I'm too passionate. And, you know, I just realized that people are crazy. I'm not talking about Wendy. It's crazy. I think she's, I think she has a lot of demons. And I think this is too much for her. not life is too much for her, but the show and being alone and not having a mom and you know she does well no she said she had like three girls you know they were her girls one was a lawyer i think one was a doctor you know some bougie bitches or whatever where are they i mean yeah hell i know hella people but when it comes down to it, it's only one that I'm going to pick up the phone for. It's only one that when she got in a crisis that I knew about, okay? Because I, if you don't tell me whatever, but that she picked up the phone and was like, blah, 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 out, let's go to lunch, boom, let's go to Vegas. It's only one. It's only one I call right now and I'd be like, girl. She'd be like, hold on, let me get off. I'll be right there. If that phone rang right now and she was like, I need you, I'm out. It's only one. It's only one I can tell, you know, all my problems. And she does tell other people. But you know what? It's only one. I don't even think Wendy has one. I think that one was her 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 mother. <clears throat> How many videos have I made begging her 
to have her people call me. You know, I'm I'm not a yes person. I honestly cared or fanned out, not stopped. You know, you see all the videos I made. This came from the heart, from the heart. Nah, you know, I to me with me, it's either A or B. Either I'm fucking with you or I'm not. Honey, I'm leaving that A zone and I'm headed towards that B zone. Now, I hope she's okay. And I don't really want to leave her when she's at her worst. Because she's been at her worst before and I was there. I was there, but you know what? Fuck that. I can't. Mm -mm. <coughs> I, I'm not an enabler. And that's the problem. She has too I'm looking at the time. She has too many damn enablers around her. That's what you don't need. See, now the one that I said, you know, I call with her, oh, girl, she'd be like, bitch. Oh, she will tell me in a heartbeat. This guy that I work with, used to work with, his name is Mo. I had, you know, I did my eyeliner with the thing. And I guess it was like a reddish pencil, whatever. He walked up to me and he was like, what's, what's wrong? What's going on with you? I was like, what? What are you talking about? And then he was like, because I, I didn't have on any makeup, but I just did the line. He was like, what's up with your eyes? I was like, well, he's like, they're red. You need somebody like that. You see what I'm saying? You need somebody that, go, that will check you immediately. I did something else. And it was kind of, you know, shy. See what He's like, why don't you do that? Boom. Straight up. We were the same way, you know, with each other. I tell him, you know, one day he was having a hard day. He came up to him, well, what's going on or whatever. Okay, well, you know what? Just chill. We got you. But I'm like that, you know, with everybody. It's either A or B. I, I, I care. I'm passionate. You can tell the way I'm making these videos. I, I care, but you know what? It, it, it's to the point where enough is enough. I, I'm, I, I'm not an, an enabler. I'm not a fool. I'm not a kiss ass. I'm totally not a kiss ass. If you want somebody to kiss your ass, please stay the hell away from me because I'm not. On these videos, on YouTube, in life, at the job, I don't kiss people's ass, okay? This incident happened yesterday, but we're not going to get into that. We'll probably get into maybe a year from now, but not right now. I don't kiss people's ass. I treat everybody the same. I might be a little abrupt, and you might be like, <laughs> but when you get to know me, you know my heart. It, it comes from a different, you know, I'm obnoxious. And, you know, a lot, of, most of the time, it's a little too much for people. And they have to be like, what's up with this bitch? And people be like, oh, no, nah, she's cool. She's cool. She's just crazy. Don't, you know, but she's really cool. People, even during um, COVID, we don't do, we give hugs. You know what I'm saying? Like I go to, why haven't you, I know they're probably so good. I'm not around right now. Why haven't you said hi to me? You know, it's almost lunchtime. You still haven't said hi to me. That's just how, and I mean it. You know, I like to harass people all the time. I need you to say hi. You know, now a whole bunch of people come in. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, don't know their name or whatever. They know mine. Hi, 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 hi. And I'm, it's not that I want to be popular. It's just that if I notice you, if I speak to you, you know, then I'm like intrigued. Well, how was that person say? You know what I'm saying? How are you doing? And a lot of times, a lot of people are going through stuff. Just like Wendy. People of all shapes, colors, size, income, social economic statuses, education, everything. Residential, non-residential, homeless, non-homeless, rich, poor, they are going through shit. And it's just how you handle it. Listen, as long as I got a roof over my head, gas in my car, food in my house, I, I'm cooking some chicken now and I smell like I gotta get off. I'm good. I'm good. I got enough makeup. My phone's is on. All that other, anything outside of it, I'm good. I'm good. I got gas in my car. Insurance is paid up. Cell phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I don't need the $5,000 bag or, you know, $1,700 pair of shoes and all that. I got about 1000 shoes. I don't care. Cheap or whatever. I'm good. Ain't no way in hell... I'm going to trade this piece, peace. I'm happy. Okay, I'm not the healthiest, but I'm happy. To be with a man, that, that's going to make me go crazy. Been there, done that. Did you see that video on um, Instagram where the girl keeps trying to run over the guy? Listen, I understand. 
<laughs> oh, I completely understand. But you got to go through that shit and you got to let it go. I understand that Wendy was married for 22 years or together with someone for 22 years. You got to let it go, honey. That shit will ki is killing you. And we're watching you die. We don't want you to die. We want you to live. We want you to be happy. But I just honestly, I don't think that she wants to be happy for herself. And that's where self-love comes in. You got to love you for someone else to love you. I ain't talking about these dusties or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If she just spent some time alone, but I know she did with um, during the pandemic, but I guess that wasn't enough. I, I just don't know. You guys drop into some comments. I, I need to understand. You know, am I wrong for my opinions? Is she going to be okay? Will she be here on October 18th? Hell, well, I be here October, but you know, I just, mm, I don't know. I, I, I really don't like making videos like this. I really don't. I just like to laugh and ha ha, ki ki ki. But it's getting, it's getting serious. It's getting serious, and I'm too deep in it to just be like, you know, to fall back and be like, fuck it. I, I, I'm too deep in it. I, I got what, 20, 30 videos on this woman? 40, 50? I still don't know her. I still ain't met her. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.